on I-94. It's about a two and a half hour drive. We've been going for somewhere around an hour and a half or something like that. Yeah, we do it like that. About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half now. So we've been talking about this trip on and off and uh, been looking for a boat. Finally pulled the trigger on uh, Center Council Lumacraft 18 footer. Um, so we'll do a walk around on that. I've been scrambling to get it water worthy this past week. She's back there. Yep. Don't have too much longer to go, but we're gonna stop and get food. We've got a hotel reservation, so we're gonna go in and uh, and get some sleep. That way we can get up early and get on the water early without having to make a two and a half or three hour drive, starting at four or five a.m. So, I guess that's it for now. Fortunate update. We were so excited about Detroit Wing Company. When we pulled up here, there it is behind us. They're carry out only. It's literally <laughs> like a, a hundred square foot it's storefront a, area that you just pick wings up. It's a tiny little lobby. It looks so uh, great on their website. Yeah, we really the, screwed up there. <laughs> this location is pickup only, unfortunately. Can we go to Outback Steakhouse? No. Texas Roadhouse. No, I don't want to go to Outback. Outback. Alright, that was the Outback. Unfortunately, the wings didn't work out, but we went to Outback. Let's see the rig walking up. The rig is looking. Well, we made it to the Red Roof Inn. It's red wall in. the Red Wall Inn. It's not quite the same as the pictures on their website. <laughs> it looked pretty good on the website. It's pretty sketchy. The room is fine. 73 bucks. But a little sketchy leaving the trucking boat out there. Just hoping tomorrow we wake up and rods aren't gone or I don't know. So we're going to go to sleep, wake up, limit out on walleye real quick, and make it home in plenty of time to make tacos for dinner. Right, fish tacos for dinner tomorrow? Fish tacos. Walleye fish tacos. tacos. Fresh, same day caught walleye fish tacos for dinner tomorrow. Maybe. It is very cold this morning, 29 degrees right now. We're heading to the dip net and then hopefully launching out of E course. That's the plan. Hunter, how'd you sleep? Good. How was the hotel? <sighs> Shit didn't get stolen. <laughs> so I'm gonna say good. We made it to E course, boat ramp. It is completely packed full. There are vehicles parked, I don't know, a quarter of a mile down the street for overflow parking. Just looking out here from what I can see, which is not a very big portion of the river, but I can probably see 50 or 60 boats just here. Try to... Looks like we're waiting. I'm gonna try to throw some gear in really quick. Okay. This is awesome, I'm excited. We're gonna get the boat launched, we're gonna get on the water, and we're gonna start catching fish. All right, we are on the water. Find a nice spot away from the pack. Just try to do a few drifts and make it happen. See what we can do. We've already seen people catching fish. It is cold out here. It's 28 or 29 degrees. Alright, so the plan is just cruise up by that group of boats and just float on back for them. Yeah. 
Look at that tiny thing. All right, so we're just off of uh, Mud Island right now, just on the east side of it. We're gonna start our first drift on the northeast side of the island and just kind of drift back past it, I think in about 26 to 28 feet of water. All of everything that we're trying to do today is just things that we've heard and read. This is the first for us, so we're gonna try to make something happen. Seems a bit overkill to jig for a while. I'm just trying to catch the sturgeon. Yeah. I got a halfway decent chance. You're right, you can catch a wall. Yeah. Well, let's just say you've got a better chance of catching a sturgeon right now than you've ever had in any other time in your life. Look at that thing, it's just pushing. That's so crazy. Good thing hook sets are free. Well, Lance, Lance might not charge for them, but I do. I can swim back to shore. No, I have to. No, we're drifting the right way. We're good. Ready? Yep. Oh, his belly hooked. <laughs> oh, big. We're going to have to measure him to see if we can even keep him. <laughs> He's too small. Is he too small, you think? Yeah. He's not a keeper. I toss him back. We measure him, throw him on the board. I don't even know where the board is. What do you have to be? 15. Not even close. Biggins only. God, he felt like a monster. I thought we were about to have a seven pounder. <laughs> oh, I eat my minnow. Two and lost two. Uh, landed two and lost two. Two? One. Can't remember. I feel like it's that one, but.
Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're in about uh, 11 feet of water here. Way in from the pack. And, uh, you know, we're jigging, jigging, and CJ goes, man, snagged. You know, just not real and nothing. No attempt to get anything going. And I look back there and it's just fucking floating by the <laughs> boat. That's a good one. Thing put up absolutely no fight, but she slash he, I'm assuming she spawned out. Yeah, yeah she spawned out female. Up in this shallower water. Oh man. Pretty cool. Well, thanks for uh, laying your eggs. And we're gonna put you in the box, I guess. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a couple tacos. So what do you think? Get you? Or is that No, her? that's that's the fish. I think we're the only boat shallower. Look how close we are ashore and look where everybody else is at. I mean it's we're the only boat up here. We're gonna see what's happening. I was actually throwing a crankbait. <laughs> But you never know. We're gonna keep on trying it here for a little bit. I don't know why we're only catching fish when the camera is off, but if they're all this size, I really don't mind. This is a big fish. Let me get on the side of you or I can see it have the sun. One of these times the camera is going to be on when we catch a fish. Did you have a minnow on that? Uh -huh. no? We're going to end up with some decent fish and have just absolutely no videos of anything, no content. Yeah, that's what it is. Have you taken just any video? Or you've been rolling like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, he might be a little short. He's gonna be close. I almost just lift him. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. Yep. Good thing too, because he got hooked pretty bad in the gills. Just barely, like 15 and a half. Look at it. Yep. Live well update. Looks good. What do you think? That's your fourth one. Fourth? Yeah. And I've only caught one. But you won with I'm trying to keep up. Oh, he just popped off. Nice one. Hold on, let me get this. Get this out of here. Nice, nice. I don't know if it's because they're cold, but I'm not able to gill any of these guys. Nice fish. Yeah, that's a decent nice fish. Is he 18 probably? Maybe 18. Right in there. It is very cold. Very yeah. cold fish. Uh, go. You have from there? That's oh, about yeah. 19. Yep. 19. 
I can't see. Go on. Are you it's sure this is recording? It's on. If you touch the back screen, it, it'll come up. I can see the red lights flashing on the front. Okay, yep. 19 inches, not bad. Not bad. Not Let's bad. get a live well update. Try not to fall in the water. Live well update. We are doing okay. Yeah, that's thumbnail right there. That's a good looking live well right now. That's not not bad. What do you think? I think we just talked about how we were gonna do one last kind of long drift along here. We went a little bit past where we were gonna stop and then move. And Hunter was messing with the uh, trolling motor, getting that figured out. And I just had a good solid bite and he stayed on. Hunter got the net under him and we got him in the boat. That's for number five. Number five in the live well. Yep. Beautiful day. It's cold. It's yeah. cold. It's still mid 30s right now, but. Yeah, it really does not get too much better. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp you back up in there. If you wanna go ahead and adjust it. Or it we off. are having a lot of fun right now. I literally had one on the grass marks and I was gonna say, hey, oh, he's side hooked. Still not bad though. I mean, he was in the mouth. He's mouth hooked. Check it together if you can. Yep, right in the mouth. It's already recording. All right. Not bad. It's gonna be a keeper. Yep, hooked right in the mouth, 15 inches. 15 and a half. Right, right in the mouth. Right where you wanna get them, really. Live well update. It looks good. 